Jeff Slauson here from 19 News Now at the 19 News Digital Desk. We are going to be bringing you to what is going to become a search party uh, for 30-year-old Lachelle Jordan, the EMT who went missing earlier this week or last week. Her family m marked her as missing on May 7th. Uh, currently, the family is being interviewed right now for, with other media outlets. And before we get to that interview that uh, our Michelle Nix will hopefully be doing here, uh, see New Yorker with us spoke with the sister earlier today, Rochelle Jordan, uh, about her sister and about what this has been like. This is a look right now at Lachelle Jordan. Um, the situation surrounding this, uh, they believe that she is endangered. She was last seen on May 6th, reported missing May 7th. Crime Stoppers is currently offering a reward of $5,000 to anybody that can help in this case. If you have any information, please call Cleveland Police. She's expect, uh, Lachelle is expected to testify in a rape case involving 65-year-old Michael Stennett, that, who was arrested Monday for violating a protection order while committing a felony and menacing by stalking. Cleveland Police said Tuesday that there was no information connecting him to the missing persons at this time. However, it is important to, stre to stress that she was going to be testifying in this. Uh, now, police say that Lachelle has, was last seen wearing blue and white East Cleveland Fire Department sweatshirt with ECFD on the back and the department's logo on the front. She's five foot tall, two inches, weighs 150 pounds, black hair, brown eyes. If anybody has information, please reach out to them as soon as possible. CBS News learned from police that Rochelle Jordan said at 6 p.m. Saturday that her sister Lachelle told her she was going outside to her car, and then that is when she was never seen again there. Uh, so I want to play for you now that interview that our CNN New Yorker did again with Lachelle Jordan's sister, Rochelle. How are you feeling? Um, right now, tired, overwhelmed, ready for this to be over with. Um, how are her children doing? They holding up as good as any kids can do. Okay. Um, just talk to me a little bit. I'm sure you've sung this story over and over, but when were the last time you heard or saw your sister? Um, Saturday, around 6, that was the last time I saw her. Was she in the house? What was she doing? Uh, she was going out to her car to get something, and that was the last time I ever saw her. Um, what can you reveal to us? I know this is still an investigation. You've been talking to the headquarters, but what can you tell us about this case? Information leading to the whereabouts or anything for... for Director of Crime Stoppers here. Uh, I mean, all Michelle of your cases her are, to this live. you know, each one has their own independent things about him, but this one's unusual with her being a, a worker for the city. And well, we were brought into this because they don't know. They don't know if she just disappeared. They don't know. They said that she was last seen on the 6th. She went out to her car um, at 6 p.m. to get something, and she never returned back to the house. So they don't know if there's foul play. You know, they have very few leads right now. So that's why we're reaching out to the public. Some people don't want to give their names if they have information. So they can call into Crime Stoppers and give any anonymous information that they may have. They can also do that through our website at www.25crime.com. Or they can do it through our mobile app. They can get that off of our website as well. They remain totally anonymous. Okay, and they um, and if they provide good information, they still could be eligible for. Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Okay. Today, what are you guys doing out here? They're just going to be passing out. Some I am not exactly sure. They're doing a search, and they may be going door to door to get information out to people. That's why we brought the flyers out today for okay. them. Oh, awesome! Thank you very much. You're welcome. Do you want this back? I no, no. All right, so now let's bring you back to that interview from earlier today, again with Rochelle Jordan, sister of Lachelle Jordan. Getting out of the back of their this car. This is her Ready for this to be over with. Um, how are her children doing? They holding up as good as any kids can do. Okay. Um, just talk to me a little bit. I'm sure you've sung this story over and over, but when were the last time you heard or saw your sister? Um, Saturday around 6, that was the last time I saw her. Was she in the house? What was she doing? Uh, she was going out to her car to get something, and that was the last time I ever saw her. 
Um, what can you reveal to us? I know this is still an investigation. You've been talking to the headquarters, but what can you tell us about this case? Um, basically nothing. We don't have any leads. We trying to um, follow up on any tips that was given and we doing like searching from place to place to see um, if she's there or anything. Has she ever, you know, went away for a while and came back? I know sometimes as a mom, things can be stressful. Oh, never. She would never leave her kids. She would, if something was stressful, she would take her kids with her, never leave them. Do you even know, like, was she dating anyone? Do you even know, like, how would this even come about or why? No, she wasn't dating anyone or anything like that. Marty? Um, is her car, she took her car somewhere? No, her car is still at the house. Her keys is still at the house. Wallet, money, everything is still at the house. You're taking this really strong for these kids. How are you able to put up with this right now? Well, I have to because I'm the only one that's here. Well, I have family and support, but I'm the main person that's here. It has to be. So where do you go from now? I know you, you have the children. What's kind of next? What's life like? Are you you're getting up, taking the kids to school every day? Is there a routine? Do you stop here at the headquarters? What is life right, like right now? Uh, we pretty much do our regular routine. Now, if we get a lead or a detective or agent call us in, we'll go there, follow up with them. Um, we get daily calls asking if we found her or anything leading up to that. But we basically been searching any place that we could think of. And you would say this is pretty unusual? Yes, very unusual. It's not her. You're twins, right? Yes, we are identical twins. Um, when is you guys' birthday? Uh, January 20th. Okay. You're both 30? Yes. Okay. All right. Anything else? I've asked all the questions. Anything else you want to say? You didn't get out to the public. Just this is your time to say what needs to be. So we'll now go back out live. If as anyone as has seen, seen to a, interview people call at this somebody. Um, act if you have to, but we just want to get home. Yeah. And... and just tell us how much she means to everyone. It means everything to us to get her back home. She's a sweet person. I could never say a bad thing about her. Um, whatever's going on with her, wherever she is, we need her back home. You're just worried about her safety and well-being? Her safety and well-being. Okay. Do you know how long she was an EMT or how long she has been? She came in as a civilian. Okay. We trained her as an EMT. We put her through the EMS Academy. She stood up to all the challenges and she has been functioning on her own uh, in the city of Cleveland for a couple of months now. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Um, well, I just, I wish the best that they find her and she's safe and everything, but I know, like you said, how difficult this is for all of you. Right. We just want her to get home safely. Thank you so much. Thank you. So as the search continues for Lachelle Jordan, 30 years old, last seen walking out to her car, this is on Fairport Avenue, um, has not been seen since. It has now been since May 6th was the last time she was seen. May 7th was when the missing persons report was sent out. Uh, let's show you back out live here as the family seems to be walking away uh, as that search party now gets underway. We'll hang on with this a little bit longer, see if Michelle speaks right, to anybody else. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But it seems like this is all wrapping up. Yes, that is it. Okay. All right, so Michelle Nix will have the latest for us tonight on 19 News at 10 and 11. Our newscast just starting over at 5 o'clock. Obviously, the family very distraught over this. A tough day for them. Uh, we'll have more on this tonight on 19 News at 10 and 11. For now, I'm Jeff Slauson. 19 News, have a great night. Much more to come on this on air and online. 19 News, now streaming on Samsung Smart TV. Search for channel 1035.